Andy Serkis from being Gollum in the Lord of the Rings films saw the power of performance capture and what it could do for storytelling. And when he came back to the UK, he noticed that nobody was even attempting um, to push the boundaries in the same way that Weta had with those films. So he got together with a few like-minded individuals and created this place to essentially make it as easy as possible for an actor to step on this stage, a director to be here and a DOP as well, and get as close to the final version of that performance as possible in real time. Magic Leap have spent the past five, six years developing a lightweight, wearable computing device. Using meshing and reading of a room, you place digital content in that room. Using eye tracking and head pose, we know where you're looking to actually place all of that digital content that we only ever experience now via a screen in the world with you. Andy Circus met with Roni years ago. I think they saw in each other uh, mutual respect for stories, for creativity. Sound speed. One of the common traits for both Imagineering Studios and Magic Leap is we employ cutting edge technology to create stories and story worlds. And that creative vision is what drives the technological advancement. So. This is our mocap volume. The great thing is, is that we don't have to play by the old rules anymore. Between performance capture and Magic Leap, we can kind of throw the rule book out. You know, forget about a fourth wall, there aren't any walls anymore. The last big discovery in film was just going 3D. That's playing with something you already know. That the format itself didn't change, you just added an extra sort of fake dimension, but what we're dealing with here is fundamentally taking that all apart and reassembling it in a whole new way. Once you have uh, the motion data, you can go back and recut a scene as many times as you want. So we can have a helicopter shot if we want to. And if a, if a character is 40 feet tall and they're walking through a city, you can help the actor get a sense of that scale. You can bring that digital performance from the screen using Magic Leap technology. You can take it from that screen and place it in the room with you. And we've had some wonderful sort of uh, moments that, that give you goose flesh when you have a digital character in the room with you and that character looks you in the eye and as you move, they follow you. Right now, there's a new language, a new vernacular being developed for how you actually tell stories on a Magic Leap device. Somewhere down the line, by giving this technology to creators, things are going to come back that are going to inspire, and, and somebody might come completely out of left field with a thing that you're like, we didn't even know that was possible. Well, there's no question that we're seeing a revolution in what technology can do for telling stories. Collaborations like we're doing on this very stage are going to be defining and, and implementing how that change takes mm. place in reality, which is, like I say, what's so exciting about it all. Yeah. It's very cool.